going on YouTube back in the garage again. Uh, I got some good news. I finally got the clutch basket I've been waiting for. So hopefully in this video uh, I'll be starting it up, starting to band it up and um, sinking the carbs. Um, but first I have to install this. So uh, yeah, let's just get right to it and put this in. Hopefully everything works out. Uh, looks like I'm gonna have to clean this up a little bit, but not too bad. Uh, yeah, so let's put this in. All right, so I got the new clutch basket uh, all cleaned up. Uh, I also, I got new little tiny screws that my mine were missing. I got three of those and I got a new uh, nut for the end of, I believe will be the transmission shaft uh, the directions on a, in the manual say to get a new one so I got one got the new clutch, clutch basket or new to me um, now I'm I've had the clutch discs here they've been sick, soaking in oil for about like a month now because I've been held up with this clutch basket uh, so they're plenty soaked at this point I'm going to pull the old clutch assembly out and uh, hopefully put it all back together without a problem. All right, you guys, I got the old clutch out. Um, this is the old clutch basket. As you can see, it's missing a gear right here, or tooth. And also, it's like all scratched up on the inner, or the second gear in. I'm thinking when this tooth broke off, it was just grinding away in here. And, uh, I never found that tooth, even though I dropped the oil pan, didn't find anything. I think somebody knew about it, pulled the tooth out, and put it back together. So this is the new one. It doesn't have any of those imperfections. So I think we're gonna be good on that. Uh, so yeah, now I gotta reassemble. I don't see, didn't see any problems with anything else in there. Everything looked good, so I got lucky. So. I'm going to reassemble this according to the book here, the manual. Um, hopefully everything goes well, it's nice and smooth. Uh, I have a brand new clutch. Um, I'm going to be reusing this it's a clutch spring right here. Um, that one is uh, aftermarket, a little bit stiffer. Uh, plus the clutch kit I got did not come with another one, so I'll just reuse that one. Um, it seems to be perfectly fine. Um, so yeah, I'm going to reassemble the clutch and uh, come back when I'm done with that. Alrighty guys, I got the new clutch basket in. I have it torqued down to 111 foot-pounds, the center nut. Hopefully I got it all back together correctly. I got the book here to help me out. So um, yeah, when you squeeze it in, Seems to be operating correctly. Um, now I gotta put the side cover on and start dumping oil in it. Um, then I can think about actually starting it. I've actually been having the battery that I got for it. It's sitting up there on a charger. Looks like it's fully charged now. Um, that's not going to be the current battery that's going to go, go with the bike. But that's the one I, I got with the bike. It's just a slightly a little bit taller. It won't fit correctly. Uh, just that. But it'll work to start the bike up. So yeah, I'm going to put the side cover on here. Then I'm going to start pouring all the oil I need in it. Uh, cover on with a brand new gasket. I uh, put about three and a half quarts of oil in it. I might have to add a little bit more once I start it up. Uh, just because the oil filter's dry plus the oil cooler itself was pretty much all drained out so when I start it up I'm going to just pretty much uh, just give it a moment to uh, distribute the oil where it needs to go then I'll shut it off and most likely I won't even have to shut it off it's probably just gonna die because the carbs are so out of whack but uh, shut it off then top off the oil so but first let's see if this thing actually starts I'm gonna put some gas in it and uh, battery and see she fires over hopefully fingers crossed got the oil in got my temporary gas supply all filled 
Uh, yeah, let's see if this thing fires over. It's been a while since it ran. Um, let's see if my hard work actually paid off. Um, <laughs> fingers crossed you don't set on fire. We got power. Uh, I know it's in neutral. <laughs> She wants to go. Put the choke. Alright, it fired over a little bit. Uh, double check for leaks. Before we go any farther, that looks good. See no dripping underneath there. Alright, so I basically had the idle set real low, so I think I'm going to try bring it up a little bit, I guess, and uh, go from there. What happens now? Oh, I'll try applying the choke as far as I can. Bring the idle up a little bit more. Let's try that. <laughs> So, yeah, she fired up. Something's going on with my gauges to sink the carbs. I got to mess with that, but right now it fired up for the first time and since I rebuilt it, I see a lot of smoke coming off right now. It's from oil from my hands, fresh paint and stuff like that. So I'm gonna let that burn off a moment. Um, mess with my gauges here, see if I can't get to work. So I can actually sink the carbs. For some reason they were working and then it just stopped. I don't know why. They are cheap ones, so um, I'm gonna see if I can't get those to freaking work. So I'll be back once I get that to work and uh, we start actually sinking the carbs. Alright you guys, so sinking these carbs turned out to be a pain in the ass. Evidently this tool here is a piece of shit. Uh, only really two gauges actually worked so basically I had to sink two carbs together 
swap the hoses, sync the other two together, then split the difference and sync all four together using two gauges. Then swap them back and forth to double check everything. Very time consuming. But I think I got pretty damn close. I might order a better one just to uh, really dial it in, but this thing is a piece of junk. It, it does not work very well at all. So I just disconnected it. It's all disconnected. Um, I gotta hook up uh, one more vacuum line here. And this one goes this direction. Hook this up. that up to there then I'll plug this and I'll start it up for you guys so you can hear how it is all right I'm going to start it up after I play with the carbs see how well it runs hopefully it still works <laughs> guys that's gonna wrap up this uh video here of getting the bandit back up and running thank god i got that clutch basket in um it sounds good that ticking i was hearing it sounds like it went away uh there is a very very slight tick coming from the top end uh it sounds like it would just be valve valve adjustment or something like that not i don't think it's enough for me to actually have to worry about it. i think it's perfectly fine um but anyway uh next video is going to be me uh, doing body work to the gas tank and tail section getting that ready for paint maybe even painting it we'll see um, but yeah it's coming along soon this bike's going to be done I uh, can't wait I want to move on to the next one uh, if you find this video interesting or uh, you just want to follow along on this build some more please like and subscribe um, I got another build coming up right after this one uh, so yeah please subscribe take it easy